Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> you know what time it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, God bless y'all. It's Monday, ain't it? Yeah, 7.32, Monday. It's Monday morning. I don't feel like doing nothing. <laughs> but God bless y'all. Woke up to see another day. It's a blessing. Amen. All glory, honor, praise go to my Father in heaven, Lord Jesus, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Got to give credit, honor, and glory to who it's due. Amen. All right. What's up? Y'all up? <laughs> What's going on? Talk to me. Hope y'all enjoying y'all days. Uh, and God bless uh, this Memorial Day weekend. Right? God bless all the people who serve in the military and stuff. Like, where you don't think about it every day. I find myself... I find myself thinking this way. I know that people do. Anybody who parents somebody who do stuff or take care of somebody and you don't get a lot of appreciation, like work, don't feel bad because you ain't always going to be appreciated. You know, it's them people in the Army. I don't know I don't, I don't know nobody in the Army and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know them people. They don't know me. But I know if it weren't for a lot of them people standing on that line, I wouldn't be able to be here. And really talk and I know freedom ain't free. We don't appreciate that. We just live our life in the neighborhood and do what we want to do, this like that or whatever. But them people really do risk their lives every day and God bless them. I hope the Holy Spirit keep the angel the angel and the edge of protection around them. God bless all y'all in the in the military, man. Word. Word. All right. Where I'm gonna go to Okay. <clears throat> I'm still in Isaiah, y'all. I'm still in Isaiah. Turn me to he, uh, Ephesians chapter 6. <laughs> Ephesians chapter 6. The arm of God with the title said. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. <clears throat> Brother Paul said, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Amen. I love that. Ephesians chapter 10. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Brother Paul said, finally, be strong in the Lord and, and, and his mighty power. Amen. Put on the full arm of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full arm of God so that when the day of evil comes, when the day of evil comes, not if, but when. For there is a day coming. All people on the face of the earth shall uh, go through this. Uh, I read that in Revelations in a little bit, but one, but but uh, therefore put on the full arm of God, so that one, when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm. Then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, Amen. With the breastplate of righteousness in place, Amen. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace, Amen. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with, with, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of the salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kind of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given. So that, so that, pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given me. So that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador and, and for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray I may declare fearlessly as I should. Amen. I'm going to stop there on that one. <clears throat> All right. Put on the full arm of God, y'all. When the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. It was one dude. I love it. Joel chapter 1. Joel chapter 1. Verse 1 says, In the land of us there lived a man whose name was Job. This man was blameless, upright. I like the King James verse. Say this man was perfect. <laughs> Ain't nobody on earth perfect. But the Bible say this man was perfect as far as a man's level of profession can be attained. Job had it. That's what the Bible say. It says uh, this man was perfect. He wasn't perfect as in perfection. But as far as, as a man's standards can be attained, he had it. But my Bible say all have sinned, amen, <clears throat> even Job. But in the land of us, there was a man whose name was Job. This man was blameless and upright. He feared God and shunned evil. He had seven sons and three daughters. 
He owned 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 donkeys, and he had a large number of servants. He was the greatest man among all the people of the East. His sons used to hold feasts in their homes on their birthdays, and they would invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. When a period of feasting, good morning, Nancy. When a period of feasting uh, had run its course, Job would make arrangements for them to be purified. Early in the morning, he would sacrifice a burnt offering for each of them, thinking, "Perhaps my children have sinned and cursed God in their hearts." This was Job's regular custom. One day, when the day of when the day of evil comes, there is a day that always comes. Paul said, "Put on the full arm." That was the New Testament. This the Old Testament. Say so one day the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came with him. The Lord said to Satan, Where you come from? Satan answered the Lord, from roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? I've been looking at this dude like, man, <laughs> there's no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright, a man who fear God and shuns evil. Does Job fear God for nothing? A great question. Satan asked. Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan replied. Have you not put an edge around him and his household and everything he has? You have blessed the work of his hands so that his flocks and his herds are spread out throughout the land. But now stretch out your hand and strike everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, very well. Everything he has is in your power, but on the man himself do not lay a finger. Then Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. One day when Job's sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the older brother's house, a messenger came in. To Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys were grazing nearby, and the Sabines attacked and made off with them. They put the ter they put the servants to the sword, and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another messenger came and said, <clears throat> The fire of God fell from the heavens and burnt up the sheep and the, and the servants, and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. I'd have been looking around like something going on. Huh? The fire what? <laughs> the fire of God fell from heaven. <laughs> I've been looking like what? <laughs> I'm telling you, the fire of God fell from, from the heavens and burnt up the sheep and the servants, and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another messenger came and said, The Chaldeans formed three raiding parties and swept down on your camels and made off with them. They put the servants to the sword, and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, yet another messenger came. I, I wouldn't be able to take him. The dude taking news left to right. While he was still speaking, yet another messenger came and said, and said, Your sons and daughters were feasting and drinking wine at the older brother's house, when suddenly a mighty wind swept in from the desert and, and struck the four corners of the house. It collapsed on them, and they are dead, and I'm the only one who has escaped to tell you. At this, Job got up and tore his robe and shaved his head. Then he fell on the ground to worship and said, Naked, this is it right here. It's the only reason why I went to this, because this is the key verse. Naked I came from my mother's womb. And naked I will depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. May the name of the Lord be praised. And all this, and all this, Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. Can everyone say that? But that's it right there. I come in naked. I'm going out naked. Anything the Lord give, He is more than He is. Anything the Lord ever give, He is more in possession. He is more. <clears throat> he's He has He has authority to take it away anytime He wishes to. And his name still shall be praised. Amen. And all this Job did not sin by charging God with wrongdoing. Yeah. All right. All right. I won't get too carried away. So put on the full arm of God uh, so that you can take your stand. And when you've done everything you can stand, when you can't stand no more, the Lord, he, he, he himself will strengthen you, as the Bible says. Amen. I'm going to read this last chapter. I'm going to pick up where I left off. Psalms 23. Now, sometimes you're going to be walking alone down here, but keep on picking up your feet. All right. <clears throat> you don't need nobody to walk with you. It's, it's a blessing to have somebody walk with you. It's a blessing to have somebody with you. you got, if any one of y'all got somebody, a partner, or somebody that's, that, that y'all wake up with and go to sleep with, like, why? Right, it's a blessing. Cause don't nobody want to be alone. Why? Right, I can tell you that. I like that song Drake said. I can't think of what, what, what song that jumped in. Uh, can't think of none. <clears throat> but he said, uh, my my mother's favorite line, her favorite verse to hit me with is, who the heck want to be uh, 66 in the long? I can't think of that song for nothing. That from time, that from time song, whatever. Word, that'd be true. But anyway, sometimes you got to walk along. 
Psalms 23, verse 1, Brother David said, The Lord is my shepherd, but I lack none. <laughs> yeah. You ain't never alone. Hebrews 13, I, I love it. You ain't never alone. Even if you is alone, you ain't alone. Know that. I'm talking to myself, too. Because where? I be, I, be, I, know, I know. I know what it is. I know what I'm, I know what I'm speaking of. I love Hebrews 13, verse 5. I'm going to start at verse 4. Hebrews 13, I can start at verse 1. Yeah. Hebrews 13, verse 1 say, Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Yeah. <laughs> it always be them people sometimes. I don't know, I don't miss it. I don't want to go into detail because I feel myself getting carried away. But keep, do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Continue to remember those in prison as if you were to <clears throat> continue to remember those in prison as if you were together with them in prison and those who are mistreated as if you yourselves were suffering. Marriage marriage should be honored by all and the marriage bed kept pure for God will judge the adultery and the sexual immorality. Keep your lives free from the love of money. Ain't nothing wrong with having money, but the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said Never will I leave you, and never will I forsake you. Well, you ain't never alone. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my help. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? I like it. Psalm 23, verse 1, Brother David said, The Lord is my shepherd, I lack none. <laughs> he makes me lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. <laughs> Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I and you know why I put myself in? If it won't for the Lord, and even still, we'll end up in the darkest places. But bless the Lord. Even while we're in the darkest places, the Lord is able and capable of lighting up. He said in Deuteronomy, I love this. I love this. I ain't get too carried away, but I'm a. Uh... All right, so. Y'all give me a second. Prosperity after turning to the Lord is what the title is. I believe. Y'all give me a second. If I can't find it fast, I ain't gonna read it. Man, where is it, Lord? Uh, <laughs> Y'all bear with me. I'm thinking about something. Even if you scatter from the distance, man, he said he, uh... I got, like, five things in my mind right now. I'm trying to see if I'm in the right thing. <laughs> Y'all bear with me. Uh... Even if... Oh, thank you. I'm looking right at it in my face, you <laughs> It's Monday. <laughs> Y'all bear with me. I forgot why I went here. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Even if you get off track and end up in the most, the farthest place, no matter where you put yourself at, you know, we'll end up, we I know y'all can relate to this. Y'all didn't put yourself somewhere, you know, found yourself somewhere. You just wonder how you got there. And the only reason you got out of that is by God's grace. Like where you, you ain't even got to be a big, big religious person. And a lot of people ain't super religious people, but God, but God always be merciful and do little things for them. Have you, have you ever got out some trouble, some type of trouble, some help the Lord to help some out some way? But anyway, I'm, I don't want to get carried away. We'll put ourselves in a certain place. I know I would. But do it around me 30. I'm going to the junk after this. Do it around me 30. <clears throat> uh, verse 1. Say, when all these blessings and curses, uh, do it around me 30. Verse 1. Say, prosperity after turning to the Lord. Brother Moses said, when all these blessings and curses I, I have set before you come on you and you take them to heart, wherever the Lord your God disperses you among the nations and when you and your children return to the Lord your God and obey him with all your heart, you see, it's the heart thing. I'm read that again. When all these blessings and curses I have set before you come on you and you take them to heart, wherever the Lord your God disperses you among the nations, and when you and your children return to the Lord your God and obey him with all your heart and with all your soul, according to everything I command you today, then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes and have compassion on you and gather you again from all the nations where he scattered you, even if you have been banished to the most distant land under the heavens. I go off. I want to go off right now. I'm so tired. 
<laughs> I can't go off like I want to. Like, what? But even if you have been banished to the most distant land under the heavens, from there, from there, the Lord your God will gather you and bring you back. Amen. I like that. No matter, Lord merciful, man. Psalms 23, I'm going to read this. I'm read this. I'm going to Isaiah where I left off. I don't want to get super carried away. I feel myself. <laughs> Getting carried away. It's my day morning. Y'all bear with me. Bless the Lord, man. Y'all remember that. Bless the Lord. The one for the Lord. <clears throat> he merciful. He merciful. Right. Brother David said, uh, he guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, the Lord able to reach you no matter where you at. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Amen. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. In the worst situations, wherever you at, God able to spread a table out before you in the presence of all your enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Where I leave off the uh, Alright, I'm in Isaiah 60, Isaiah 62. Isaiah 60, 62. <clears throat> I hope y'all enjoying yourself too. And y'all take your time. So day by day time. You can't have daytime without nighttime. Weeping may last the night. I love the song 30 verse 5. Weeping may last the night. I be having some hard nights sometimes, but joy do come in the morning. <laughs> I always love to see, wake up and see the sunshine. Like where, it don't matter where you at. Psalm, uh, Isaiah 62, uh, Zion's new name. Uh, what's the title say? <coughs> no, I gotta wake up myself for real. All right. Isaiah 62, verse 1. Zion's new name. What's the title say? Brother Isaiah wrote. For Zion, for Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain quiet. Till her vindication shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a, bla like a blazing torch. The nations you see, oh, the nations will see your vindication and all the kings your glory. You will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will bestow. You will be a crown of splendor in the Lord's hand, a royal uh, diadem in the hand of your God. No longer will they call you deserted or name you or name your land desolate, but you will be called Hef uh, Hef and your land Bela. For the Lord would for the Lord would take delight in you, and your land and your land will be married. As a young man marries a young woman, so will your builder marry you. Love that. Like, I need to write that down. <clears throat> as a young man marries, as a young man marries a young woman, so your builder will marry you. <laughs> the Lord is the builder. <laughs> uh, Hebrews, uh, uh, God, Abraham made his home in the promised land. He was looking forward to the city with found to the city with to the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. <laughs> As a young man marries a young woman, so your builder will marry you. Or as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so your so your God rejoices over you. So so will your so will your God rejoice over you. I like that. I have posted watchmen over your walls, Jerusalem. They will never be silent day or night. You who call on the Lord, give yourselves no rest, and give him no rest till he establishes Jerusalem. And makes her the praise of the earth. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm. Never again will I give your grain as food for your enemies. And never again will foreigners drink the new wine for which you have told. But those who have har but those who harvest it will eat it and praise the Lord. And those who gather the grapes will drink it in the courts of my sanctuary. Pass through, pass through the gates. Prepare the way for the people. Build up, build up the highway. Remove the stones. Raise the banner for the nations. The Lord has made a pro. Uh, the Lord has made proclamation to the ends of the earth. Say to daughter Zion, see your Savior comes. See his reward is wooden, and and his recompense accompanies accompanies him. They will be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. Uh, they will be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you will be, 
and you will be called sought after. The city no longer deserted. God's God's day of vengeance, uh, God's day of vengeance and redemption. What the title says. <clears throat> Isaiah sixty three, verse one. Brother Isaiah wrote, "Who is this coming from Eden, from uh, Basra, with his garment stained, with his garment stained crimson? Who is this robed in splendor, robed in splendor, striding forward in the greatness of his strength?" It is I proclaiming victory, mighty to save. Why are your garments red like those of like those of one tread in the wine press? I have tried in the wine press alone. From the nations no one from the nations no one was with me. I trampled them in my anger and trod and trod them down in my wrath. Their blood splattered my garments and I stained all my clothing. It was for me. It was for me the day of vengeance, and uh, it was for me the day of vengeance, the year for me to redeem had come. I looked, but there was no one to help. I was appalled that no one gave support. So my own arm achieved salvation for me, and my own wrath sustained me. And my own wrath sustained me. I trampled the nations in my anger. In my wrath, I made them drunk and poured their blood on the ground. Praise and prayer with the title said. I will tell of the kindness I will tell of the kindness of the Lord, the deeds for which he is to be praised, according to all the Lord has done for us, yes, the many good things he has done for Israel, according to his compassion and many kindness. He said, Surely they are my people, children who will be true to me. And so he became their savior. And all their distress he was too he too was distressed, and the angel of his presence saved them. Amen. In his love and mercy, in his love and mercy, he redeemed them. Amen. He lifted them up and carried them all the days of old. Yet they rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit and grieved his Holy Spirit. So he turned and became their enemy, and he himself fought against them. Then his people recall. Then his people recall the days of old, the days of Moses and his people. Where he, where is he who brought them out? Uh, who brought them through the sea with the shepherd of his flock? Where is he who set who set his holy spirit among them, who sent his glorious who sent his glorious arm of power to be at Moses' right hand? Who divided the waters before them to gain for himself everlasting renown? Who led them who led them through the depths? Like a horse in open country, they did not stumble. Like cattle that go down to the plain, they were given rest by the Spirit of the Lord. I love that. I need to write that down. Like cattle that go down to the plain, they were they were given rest by the Spirit of the Lord. This is how you guided your people to make for yourself a glorious name. Look down from heaven and see from your lofty throne, holy and glorious. Where are your zeal? Where are your zeal and your might? Your tenderness and compassion are withheld from us. But you are but you are our father through Abraham, though Abraham does not know us or Israel and acknowledge us like that. But you are our father, though Abraham does not know us, or Israel acknowledge us. You, Lord, are our father. Our redeemer from of old is your name. Why, Lord, do you make us wander from your ways and harden our hearts so we do not revere you? Return for the sake of your servants. I like that. Why, Lord, do you make us wander from your ways and harden our hearts so we do not revere you? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes that are your inheritance, that are your inheritance. For a little while, your people possessed your holy place, but now our enemies have trampled down your sanctuary. We are yours. We are yours from of old, but you have not ruled over them. But uh, but you have not ruled over them. They have not been called by your name. Isaiah sixty Isaiah sixty four, verse one. Brother Isaiah wrote, "Oh, that the heavens were rent." Oh, that you will rend down. Oh, that you will rend the heavens and come down, that the mountains will tremble before you, as when fire sets twigs ablaze and causes water to boil. Come down to make your name known to your enemies and cause the nations to quake before you. For when you did awesome things, we for when you did awesome things that we did not expect, you came down and the mountains trembled before you. Since ancient times, no one has heard. Hmm. Oh, this would uh, Paul quote. Since ancient times, no one has heard, no eye has perceived, no eye has seen any God besides you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. I like that. 
since ancient times no one has heard no ear has perceived no eye has seen any god besides you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him you come to the help of those who gladly do right you remember who remember your ways but when we continue to sin against but when we continue to sin against them you are angry how then can we be saved all of us have all of us have become like one who was unclean and all of our righteousness and all of our righteous acts are like filthy rags we are all shriveled up like a leaf and like the wind our sins sweep us away Word. no one calls on your name or strives to lay hold of you for you have hidden your face from for you have hidden your face from us and have given us over to our sins yet you lord are our father we are the clay you are the potter we are the work of your hand do not be angry beyond measure do not remember our sins forever or oh look oh look on us we pray for we are for we are for we are all your people your sacred cities have become a wasteland even zion is a wasteland jerusalem is a jerusalem a desolation our holy and glorious temple where our ancestors praised you has been burnt with fire and all that we tre and all that we treasure lies in ruins after all this lord will you hold yourself back will you keep silent and punish us beyond measure isaiah 65 judgment and salvation with the title say judgment and salvation isaiah 65 verse 1 the lord said i reveal myself to those who do not ask for me i reveal myself to those who do not ask for me i like that i reveal myself to those who did not ask for me i was found by those who did not seek me to a nation that did not call on my name i said here i am here i am all day long i have held out my hands to a to a obstinate people who walk who walk in ways not good, pursuing their own imaginations. A people who continually provoke me to my very face, offering sacrifices in gardens and burning incense on altars of brick, who sit among the graves and spend their nights keeping secret vigil, who eat the flesh of pigs and whose, and whose pots hold both broth of impure meat, who say, keep away, don't come near me, for I am too sacred for you. Such people are smoke in my nostrils, a fire that keeps burning all day. See, it stands written before me. I will not keep silent, but but will pay back in full. I will pay it back into their laps, both your sins and the sins of your ancestors, says the Lord. Because they burnt sacrifices on the mountains and defiled me on the hills, I will, me I will measure until their laps the full payment for their former deed. For their former deeds this is what the lord says as when juice is still found in a cluster of grapes and people say don't destroy it there's still blessing in it so will i do in behalf of my servants i will not destroy them all i will bring forth the sinners from jacob and from judah those who will possess my mountains my chosen people will inherit them and they was and they and there my servants and there will my servants live Sharon will become a pasture for flocks, and the valley of Achor a resting place for herds, for my people who seek me. But as for you, who forsake the Lord, and forget my holy mountain, who spread a table for fortune, and fill bowls of mixed wine for destiny, I will, I will, I will destine you for the sword, and all of you will fall in the slaughter. For I called, but you did not answer. I spoke, but you did not listen. You did evil in my sight and chose what displeases me. Therefore, this is what the sovereign Lord says. My servants will eat, but you will go hungry, but you will go hungry. My servants will drink, but you will go thirsty. My servants will rejoice, but you will, will be put to shame. My servants will sing out of joy out of the joy of their hearts, but you will cry from anguish of heart and well and brokenness of spirit. You will leave your name. You will leave your name for my chosen ones to, to use in their curses. The sovereign Lord will put you to death, but to, but to his servants he will give another name. Whoever invokes a blessing in the land, whoever invokes a blessing in the land will do so by the by the one true God. Whoever takes the oath in the land will swear by the one true God, for the past troubles will be forgotten and hidden from my eyes. New heaven and a new earth.
what the title say. Isaiah, Isaiah 65, verse 17, the Lord says, See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. <laughs> Where all this stuff will seem like a dream one day. <laughs> Where <laughs> all this wild stuff will seem like a dream. Where I got to turn this call for messing with me. God bless y'all, baby. God pray for me. The Lord says, See, I will create a new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. Amen. For I will create Jerusalem, Jerusalem to be a delight, and its people a joy. <clears throat> I will rejoice over Jerusalem and take delight in my people. The sound of weeping and, and, and of crying will be will be heard in it no more. Never again will there be an infant who lives but a few days or an old man who does not live out his years. The one who dies at a hundred will, will be thought a mere child. The one who fails to reach a hundred will be considered a curse. They will build houses and dwell in them. They will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. No longer will, no longer will they build houses and others, and, others lives in the, and others live in them or plant and others eat. For as the days of a tree, so will the days of my people be. My chosen ones will, in, will long enjoy the work of their hands. They will not labor in vain, nor will they bear children doomed for, to misfortune. For they will be a people blessed by the Lord, they and their descendants with them. Before I call, before they, before they call, I will answer. I like that. Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear the wolf and the lamb will feed together, and the lion will eat straw like the ox, and the dust will be the serpent's food. They will neither harm nor destroy on, on my They will neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mountains, says the Lord. Judgment and hope for the title said. <clears throat> Judgment and hope for the title said. Isaiah sixty six verse one. This is what the Lord says. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? <laughs> I go off right now if I want to hear man. I'm telling you. I don't want to be carried away. He said, heaven is, my, heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? <laughs> Where will my resting place be? Has not my hands made all these things? And so they came into being, declares the Lord. <laughs> They're in a place. If you, uh, if you, uh, I don't think no scientists on here. I love to get some scientists. Them ancient alien people. If y'all watch them ancient alien people, I rip them people up alive. Listen. Uh, there is no space. There is no place. <laughs> and there is no place in all of space. We can't, we don't even know how deep space is. <laughs> them, Astronauts they adapt. They 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 trying to go to Mars now or something and try to colonize Mars or some crap. <laughs> it's, they, it's, just, it's a one way trip. They said it's a one way trip. Whoever going on that trip ain't no coming back. And them people happy and excited to go or whatever. But I ain't talking about. It. I'm just saying. Uh, that's probably as far as they can go uh, to Mars or something. But anyway, ain't nowhere in space they can. They, the Lord uh, <laughs> heaven is a throne and the earth is supposed to. Like where it's too small. <laughs> he created all these things. We like inside of a box. <laughs> like where they say think outside of the box. We inside of a box. Like you know, like where I don't want to get too carried away because I'll be on that for like three hours. But uh, this is what the Lord says: Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? Where will my resting place be? Has not my hands made all these things? Has not my hand made all these things, and so, and so they came into being, declares the Lord. These are the ones I look on with favor. Those I like this right here. If y'all listen, the Lord said, the Lord said, these are the ones I look on with favor. Those who are humble and contrite in spirit, and who tremble at my word. Amen. But whoever sacrifices a bull is like one who kills a person. And whoever offers a lamb is like one who breaks a doll's neck. And whoever makes a grain offering is like one who presents pig's blood. 
and whoever burns memorial incense is like one who worships an item. They have chosen their own ways, and they delight in their abominations. So I will also, so I also will choose harsh treatment for them, and will bring on them what they what they dread. For when I call, no one answered. When I spoke, no one listened. They did evil. They did evil in my sight, and chose what displeases me. Hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at His word. Your own people who hate you. <clears throat> Your own people who hate you and exclude you because of my name have said, let the Lord be glorified that we may see your joy. Mm. Word. Hear the word of hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at his word. Your own people who hate you and exclude you because of my name have said, let the Lord be glorified that we may see your joy. Yet they will be put yet they will be put to shame. Hear that uproar from the city, hear that noise from the temple. It is a sound of the Lord repaying his enemies all they deserve. Before she goes in a, before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come on her, she she delivers a son. Who has ever heard of such things? I was about to say, that don't make sense. Hmm. Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Don't nobody give birth before without going through that pain first. <laughs> before the pains come on her, she delivers a son. Who has that? Before she gives, <laughs> before she gives, before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers a son. Who has ever heard of such things? Who has ever seen things like this? Can a country be born in a day, or a nation be brought forth in the moment? Yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she get uh, yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Do I bring do I bring to the moment of birth uh, do I bring to the moment of birth and do not give delivery, says the Lord? Do I close up the womb when I bring delivery? Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery, says says your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem. Uh, rejoice with Jerusalem, uh, and be glad and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice greatly with her, all you who mourn over her, for you would nurse, for you would nurse and be satisfied at her com at her comfort and breast. You will drink deeply and delight in her overflowing abundance. For this is what the Lord says: I will extend peace to her like a river. And the wealth of the nations like a flooding stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm, and uh, Dan, Dan, Dan led, Dan, hmm, and Dan, Dan led on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you, and you will be comforted over, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. When you see this, your heart will rejoice and you will flourish like grass. The hand of the Lord will the hand of the Lord will be made known to his servants. What? My bad on fifteen percent. That's great. The hand of the Lord will be uh, will be made known to his servants, but his fury will be shown to his foes. See, the Lord is coming with fire, and his chariots are like a whirlwind. He will bring down his his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For with fire and with his sword, the Lord will execute judgment on all people, and many and many will be those slain by the Lord. Those who con those who consecrate and purify themselves to go into the gardens, following following one who was among those who eat the flesh of pigs, rats, and other un and other unclean things, they will meet their end together with they will meet their end together with the one they follow. Declares the Lord. Watch who you follow and after. Those who consecrate and purify themselves to go into the gardens. I don't know what these gardens are. Following one. Uh, following one who is among those who eat the flesh of pigs, rats, and all the unclean animals, they will meet their end together with the one they follow, declares the Lord. And I, because of what they, and I, because of what they have planned and done, am about to come and gather the people of all nations and languages, and they will come and see my glory. 
I would set a sign among them, and I would send and I would send some of those who survived to the nations, the Tarshish, and to the Lebanians and uh, Ladinians, uh, famous as arch archers, to Tubal and Greece, and to the distant and to the distant islands that have not heard of my fame or seen my glory. They will proclaim my they will proclaim my glory among the nations, and they will bring all your people from all the nations to my holy mountain in Jerusalem as an offering to the Lord on horses and chariots and wagons and on mules and camels, says the Lord. They will bring them and the Israelites as the Israelites bring their grain offering to the temple of the Lord in ceremony and ceremonially clean vessels. And I will select some of them also to be priests and Levites, says the Lord. As the new heavens, as the new heavens and the new earth that I will make will endure before me, declares the Lord. So we your name and the sinners endure from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another. All mankind will come and bow down before me, says the Lord. And they will go out and look on the dead bodies of those who rebelled against me. Mm. We going to. Oh, man. Every single person that ever that ever rebelled against the Lord, we're gonna get to see him. And they will go out and they will go out and look on the dead bodies of those who rebelled against me. The worm <coughs> the worms the worms that eat them the worms that eat them will not die. The fire that burn that burns them will not be quenched, and there will be lonesome and they will be loathsome to all mankind. Jeremiah chapter 1. My phone about to die. <laughs> Crap. I forgot to charge my phone. Uh, all right, well. Man. <laughs> all right. Let's hit that 10% thing, 5% thing. I'm going to read. My bad, y'all. Uh, <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 1. My favorite book. I ain't read this in a minute. <laughs> About 17 when I read the jump last time. I, I, read, I read verse and stuff every right now and then. Since I read the whole book. Where I don't be having time. That'd be crazy. That would be something. I ain't gonna say I don't be having time, but that would be something else. But anyway, I'm wasting battery life. Jeremiah chapter 1. Say the words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, one of the priests of Anathoth. The words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, one of the priests at Anathoth. If any of y'all got your Bibles rocking with me reading, you can see what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 1. <laughs> Okay, the words of Jeremiah, son of Hilkiah, one of the priests at Anathoth in the territory of Benjamin. Okay, the word of the Lord came to him in the 13th year of, of the reign of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah, and through the reign of Joachim, son of Josiah, king of Judah, down to the fifth month of the 11th year of Zedekiah, son of Josiah, king of Judah, when the people of Jerusalem went into exile. The call of Jeremiah with the title says, the word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Alas, sovereign Lord, I said, I don't know how to speak. I'm too young. But the Lord said to me, do not say I'm too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them. For I'm with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over the nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you see, Jeremiah? I see a branch of an almond tree, I replied. The Lord said to me, you have seen correctly, for I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. The word of the Lord came to me again. What do you see? I see a pot that is boiling, I answered. It is tilting toward us from the north. The Lord said to me, From the north, disaster will be from the north, disaster will be poured out on all who live in the land. 
I am about to summon all the peoples of the northern kingdoms, declares the Lord, declares the Lord. Their kings will come and set up their thrones in the entrance of the gates of Jerusalem. They will come against all her surrounding walls and against all the towns of Judah. I will pronounce my judgments on my people because of it. Because of their wickedness and forsaking me and burning incense to other gods and 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 worshiping with, with and and worshiping what their hands have made, get get yourself ready. Stand up and say to them whatever I command you. Do not be terrified by them, or I will terrify you before them. Today I have made you a. Whew. <laughs> The Lord told them to get yourself ready and stand up and say to them, whatever I command you, do not be terrified by them or I will terrify or I will terrify you before them. <laughs> Word up. I've seen this happen. I don't know how, I don't know what people will fall into. People will back up and I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> word. I ain't going against the Lord. <laughs> I seen it fall short all the time. But he say do something, you better do it. <laughs> Tell you that. Today I've made today I've made you a fortified city, an iron an, an iron pillar, and a bronze wall to stand against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, its officials and priests, all the people of the land. They will fight against you, but I like this. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. I'm gonna stop right there because my battery about to die, and I don't want this jump to cut off without saving it, y'all. <laughs> God bless y'all. Y'all keep asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. Keep asking for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. You never get step two till you get step one. That's taking God this word. Take him at his word. Everything, John chapter one, saying in the beginning was the word. Y'all keep praying for me. Keep on praying for y'all. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Bless y'all.